What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and would you believe there was a time when not a lot of people knew who Doctor Strange was? No. Yes, I know, it's true, but after making his film debut in 2016 and then appearing in a couple of the highest grossing movies of all time, I'd say it's fair to say that the Sorcerer Supreme is now a household name. And here's a few fun facts about his first flick. Benedict Cumberbatch was the first choice for Doctor Strange, but he initially had to decline due to his theater commitments playing Hamlet. So, Joaquin Phoenix was the studio's second choice for the lead role, but after a few months of deliberation, he eventually turned down the offer due to his reluctance to do a multi-picture deal. How weird would it have been if Joaquin was Doctor Strange? <laughs> Thankfully, when the release date was pushed back from July 2016 to November 2016, Benedict Cumberbatch was available and accepted the role. Who's laughing now, asshole? When designing the Eye of Agamotto, creator of Doctor Strange Steve Ditko drew inspiration from the real-world charm, the all-seeing Eye of the Buddha, known amongst Buddhists as the Amulet of Snail Martyrs, a Nepali symbol meant to protect its wearer from evil. Rachel McAdams was previously approached by Jon Favreau as the first choice to play Pepper Potts in Iron Man, but she declined. However, due to the popularity of the Marvel films, Rachel McAdams had a change of heart and became interested in appearing in an MCU film and when offered the role of Christine, took it right away. Hypocrite! Mads Mikkelsen admitted that with all the CGI, he got a little bit lost on how to film his scenes, especially during the mirror dimension scenes. And I don't really blame him. Forget everything you think you know. The folding over replication and changes in orientation during the reality twisting scenes were influenced by the works of mathematical painter M.C. Escher and the fractal concept. At one point, Master Mordo has a relic that he calls the Staff of the Living Tribunal. In the original comics, the Living Tribunal is one of the most powerful cosmic entities in all of the Marvel Universe whose mission was to keep the balance between the multiverse. Quite the coincidence considering the next Doctor Strange movie. Benedict Cumberbatch recommended that he play Dormammu himself during production, and Scott Derrickson liked the idea of Cumberbatch playing hero and villain, saying, quote, That role was an ultra-inflated version of Strange, an ego run amok. At one point, Doctor Strange considers using an axe as a weapon. This is an homage to the 2016 Doctor Strange comics, where he was severely depowered and took to wielding an axe he called Angoramus. I hope I said that right. Probably didn't. The scene where the cloak of levitation wipes away Strange's tears was improvised on set. It was a suggestion Benedict Cumberbatch made to the crew who liked it enough to create it. Stop. Scott Derrickson originally wanted to feature the Dream Demon Nightmare and the Dream Dimension, but decided to save him for a sequel. Unfortunately, Derrickson and Marvel had creative differences on the film and the two parted ways, so who knows when we're gonna see Nightmare in live action. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. So do you know any more cool behind the scenes facts about Doctor Strange? If so, drop them in the comments below or make them up if you want, I don't care. Just make them good. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you like the video or share it because it does help. And a big ol' thank you for watching.